Hey crafty friends, I am back with a process video. This is for week five, Project Life. Um, yeah, I'm really banging them out this week. And so here is uh, my spread before I start writing or do any anything else to it. Um, I'm using the Best Story Kit by Ali Edwards this week. And when I saw Best and when I got Best, I was not terribly enthused. I was just like, okay, this might be fun. I wasn't really feeling the colors. I wasn't really feeling the embellishments, but then I got deep into it this week. And I love this kit. I love all the little embellishments. I love the sentiments. I was really happy that I broke it out. So um, here you see me writing on this little black um, circle and it says loving and I wrote floss on floss on floss. This was the week I started getting into embroidery and embroidery is a rabbit hole for me. Um, it's been very zen and it's been very good for me. It's very like meditative and you know, I can come home after a really long day and just spend five minutes and do something really small or work on a project. And that gets me in a really, really good headspace. So get ready to see lots of embroidery pictures in the future in my spreads. Um, well, this was the week that started it all. So it's a picture of me holding a little bouquet of floss at Michael's because I started, you know, going to Michael's when they had that 20% off sale and buying some floss for this project. So now this, the photo I'm working on now is a photo of a um, hoop that I have worked on. So it was like the pattern on the hoop and the floss colors that I was using. And I grabbed um, that label piece from the little ticket book in the best kit. And I wrote, um, first hoop to be tackled, but pretty sure it's not the last. And then I grabbed the number one also from that ticket um, book and glue it down. And I put the one on top because first hoop. And then I grab my tiny attacher because um, I love staples. I just like the way they look. So I staple it down. And um, that little tag book was a little long for my photo. I think I didn't cut it down exactly three inches, but nothing that the scissor and a little trimming couldn't fix. So that's taken care of. And now that card is finished. Now the best kit has a ton of great sayings. Um, I really wish I had backups for most of these cards. Um, the beautiful thing about getting the digital kit is I do have backups. I can print these things out over and over. Um, this is the chipboard from the best kit and it has a lot of arrows and a lot of cool sentiments. And so now I'm sorting through it and trying to figure out what I want to use. Now I mess around with how I lay out the bottom card and photo because I want to use that arrow. And I'm like, well, the arrow has to point to the picture. And so I move it around so that the arrow can point to the picture. And the arrow says totally the best and it's yellow and now i'm embellishing the um, actual photo side so i grab this like ticket ribbon ticket ribbon not sure how you would describe it but it's a ribbon that you would get like if you won something i know you know what i'm talking about and it says good times on it and then i grab one of those puffy white stars now my journaling pretty much says um what i was talking about i picked up embroidery this week and i'm already obsessed literally obsessed i bought this much floss just this week so i might already have a problem but there's something so zen and meditative about stitching that's so good for my headspace right now so in love and happy i started and it's pointing at a picture of my bed with all the floss colors that i had picked up that week like i literally went a little bit nuts i think i went to michael's like three or four times to pick up floss now this card this card was in the um Oh geez, I can't remember. But it was one of those like summer releases that was just a bunch of journal cards and it says, You can do this, yes you. You can do this, yes you. I believe in you, you are stronger than you know, you are enough. And it came with doubles. And I'm using this card and I would probably never use the other one because I don't know what I would do if I don't have that. Like I'm not even joking, I pick up that card probably three or four days a week and just read it and then put it back. Um like it's just important to hear that that you are enough and you can do it and so i wrote on the card tashi is scared and i do refer to myself in the third person especially when i'm really really frightened um so i wrote tashi is scared nursing school is hard and i am afraid i will fail but i'm smart and i'm strong and i will work hard and i will do it um just you know a little reminder that yes it's frightening but you can do it and so the, um, the photo was a picture of my notes. Um, I do color code my notes. My classmates think it's hilarious because I take notes with like two extra pens and a highlighter and a ruler. And I take really pretty like Instagram worthy notes. And they're like, do you rewrite those? And I'm like, why? They're perfect. And they all think that I waste way too much time highlighting things in class. But it does help me study and get oriented. So now we're moving on to the um, right side of this spread. Uh, and I really like the colors in this best kit. It's not really what I would have thought for like October colors or not very like fall or autumnal. And I'm actually happy about that because I, yes, I love fall, but it was really nice to get this little pop of color in the middle of October. So 
Um, now I'm messing around with like laying things out, moving things around, and I vanished for a little bit because I had every intention of using that blue card that says the best of the not so best. Then I decided I just didn't like it anymore. I thought it was like, eh, I didn't think it really fit. So I grabbed that card, which would have worked well. It's really pretty. I like the sentiment and I swap it out for this card, which has a bunch of speech bubbles um, that say things like one day at a time and take the next step and this too shall pass and you totally can. And I was like, yeah this is it and it's like the perfect colors like it did not come with the best kit but it's like the perfect colors um so here's a funny story um <laughs> my name has a z in it i think you noticed that by now but it's pronounced tashiana and so my entire life people have been misspelling my name when i tell them or they hear it over their phone and they say tatiana or they read it and they mispronounce it my entire life has just been an ordeal and so what i've started doing when i go to starbucks is telling them my name is tasha because it's easier than telling them what my actual name is and watching them butcher it or like anything else and so i took a picture of this coffee cup and i was just like haha my life and so i printed it and put it in the album and um the card said everyday life at its finest and i'm like yeah this is pretty much my life and so i just did some journaling about um having you know an interesting name and what that's like and how i wouldn't change it for the world now here and here i had tried to do some stamping um from the best story kit i think it's like making the best of this but i did not ink the stamp properly and so i did not get a good impression and i'm like oh what am i gonna do now so i go back to that ticket and i'm like hey there's a little coffee cup perfect and i discovered the stamp crisis averted and then you know what I do I pull out my stapler because I am obsessed with that tiny attacher and now that's done um so next I think I move on to the best of the not so great yeah that's what I do so I grab this stamp and it says the best of the not so great and it's another picture of my notes on a different day I think this day I was in the library and I've been going to the library almost every day after work which is exhausting but you know you do what you have to and so I grab this um these little plink circles I think is what they were called they were an add-on from the best story kit and I first checked to make sure my stamp will fit and I stamp right on this blue circle and it fits perfectly the a couple of the letters like the s gets a little cut off but you still can read the sentiment perfectly and I put it down right I really like doing this I really like putting like round things on the middle of my photo I did it last week also I don't know where it came from but I like it I like it a lot so now this card um, it says forward progress on becoming my best self and I really like that sentiment so I wrote um, the card next to this is so me this is the best of the not so great but I'm showing up anyway I'm not sure how this will all go but I'm trying my best and that has to be rewarded right working on becoming my best self and the card next to it says be messy and complicated and afraid and show up anyways and just like last week it's just like one of those cards was just like yeah you can be afraid no one is telling you that you you know that everything has to be good all the time you can be afraid but just show up just do the thing like you have to do the thing anyway do the thing and so that's pretty much what i was writing about about showing up and doing the thing oh there was a little dance break not sure if you caught that but that's what that was um so i grab another one of these little ribbon things uh, and it says remember this and then oh oh here's where it gets interesting because i put down a chipboard and then i tried to pick it up and I ripped off the adhesive. So I ended up ripping up the piece, the adhesive piece and using my tape runner to glue the chipboard down and crisis averted. Like I feel like a lot of this week was just like, oh my God, this went terribly wrong. And then it was just like, Ashley, Tashiana, you're being a drama queen, you can fix this, which is pretty much my life. So <laughs> welcome to my life. Now, this is one of those um, story of this meal cards and I love these. I use them almost every week. It was one of those, another one of those meals where Joshua met me for like a quick bite before school. I'm checking the date on my phone to make sure I date the card right. And I pretty much wrote uh, about the quick meals and how they're the highlight of my long days. Like seeing my husband and knowing that he goes out of his way to meet me all the way in the city. Even though he works in Brooklyn, he comes to Manhattan just to meet me. And it makes me feel really special. So now I put the cards in the pockets. Um, I ended up gluing the story of this meal and the picture to a 4 by 6 piece of uh, scrap cardstock that I cut down. And I uh, put everything in the pocket. So now I'm working on my title card and I do a similar thing to what I did last week. I grab the stamp because the stamp sets the best and I stamp out week five. Um, so you can watch me fiddle with my stamping while I blab a little bit. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying getting back into project life and getting back into crafting and having time to do those things again. Um, I know I said this with my previous spread, but 
I'm, you know, starting to manage my time better. And I think that was really, really important. My time management skills were suffering and I just needed, you know, to figure out how to make times like there is enough hours in the day. Some days it feels like there aren't, but you just take it one day at a time and you work on becoming your best self. And that requires work. It's not like you're going to wake up one day and everything's going to be awesome. So <laughs> I know you came here for a scrapbook process video, but here's a little bit of a life lesson for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so now I'm finishing up stamping and I'm looking for something else to put on that title card because it looks a little plain. So I'm like, oh, what do I want to do with it? I grab some more of those like ribbon stickers. I grab another one of those circle things. I don't know what to do. And then I remember that the best story kit came with these acrylic like plasticky stars. And I was like, yes, yes, that is the thing. So I grab one of the large ones and I staple it down. And now this spread is finished. So uh, thank you so much for tagging along to the end. I hope you liked it. Feel free to like and comment and subscribe and tag along with future crafty journeys. And I'll be posting more videos that you can watch at the end of this one. So if you want to, you know, waste a few hours with me, there'll be plenty of content for you to hang out with. Thank you again for watching and have a great day, crafty friends.